Okay, so I was just going to share some photos about common weeds that you might be seeing in your lawn and gardens right now. The first, and I've gotten a lot of calls about this, and this is wild onion and garlic. Now, these are very, very similar. Wild garlic will have round, hollow leaves. Wild onion will have flat, solid leaves, and all of the leaves will emerge out of the base of the plant. Now, um, something that often gets confused with wild onion and garlic is Star of Bethlehem. And you can see this picture here on the right. And it has the white flowers that are very noticeable and are probably getting ready to bloom. Now, as far as controlling these, these are certainly a challenge. They're unsightly and people wanna know how to get rid of them. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of easy ways to get rid of them. They grow from underground bulbs. They're almost impossible to pull by hand unless you happen to go out after a heavy rain event when the soil is very saturated. Uh, but for the most part, you're not gonna be able to pull those by hand. You can do some hand digging and just dig them out or you can just ignore them. They will go dormant in the summer and you won't even know that they're there. You can do some spot treatments with some broadleaf herbicides, either organic or inorganic types, non-selective type herbicides. And if you mow them before using the herbicides, that can be most effective. Okay, so the next most common weed that I'm getting questions about right now is uh, dead nettle and henbit. And these look very similar. They're often called by the wrong names, but dead nettle has triangular heart-shaped leaves or sometimes kind of reddish purple and henbit leaves are circular. They are whorled around the center stem and as far as treatments for these, of course hand pulling, you can use some broadleaf herbicides that's most effective in the fall when the plants are small and there's even some pre-emergence that can be used for dead nettle and henbit as well. But these are pretty easy to pull up and you'll often see these in garden bed areas because they like that kind of easy to grow in soil. And so they're pretty easy to hand pull. Now do keep in mind that if you don't mind dead nettle and henbit, they are a great early pollinator food source for bees and other pollinators that might be out flowering around right now. If you have these plants in your yard, go out and observe them and you'll likely see some little insects crawling around on them. So you don't have to do anything, but if you do want to do something, hand pulling and herbicides will work on those. Now, another thing that we're seeing a lot of right now is shepherd's purse. It is starting to bloom and it can be easily identified by this rosette leaf pattern. And then the flower spikes have flat heart shaped seed pods that will develop. These can be hand pulled pretty easily. You can also use herbicides on them. Now they grow very well in poor soil and you'll often see these growing up through cracks in the sidewalk. So they'll grow about anywhere. So we're seeing a lot of those right now. Chickweed, chickweed forms mats on the ground. So you may be seeing these. The foliage is very lush this time of the year and easy to identify. We typically have two types of chickweed. We have the common chickweed and we have the mouse ear chickweed, which is more kind of has a fuzzy texture to it. But you can see that they're very similar and are very noticeable this time of the year. The next one that I wanted to mention is yellow wood sorrel. And you can see the yellow flowers on that. The leaves are very recognizable as well. And the seed pods that you see here in the photo on the right, those will pop open and literally send seeds shooting out in all directions. So these are easily hand pulled. And if you can get control of these before those seed pods develop and open, that can be very helpful for spread. Also been getting questions about annual bluegrass, which is showing up in lawns right now. And these will show up in these little clumping patterns. The leaf tips of these are boat shaped. 
And so they're pretty easy to identify. You can spot treat these with herbicides. You can hand pull or dig. And you can really see these this time of the year because they have a light green color. Now, this is a winter annual weed. There are some pre-emergence that can be applied as well, but very easy to identify this time of the year. Persian speedwell is another common weed that we're seeing right now. This is often confused with dead nettle or henbit. It's more low growing to the ground. It has these little blue flowers. And as far as treatment options, it's the same as the others that we've mentioned. Now, a couple of resources that I wanted to share with you. MU has a great app that you can put on your phone. It's a weed ID app, and we'll put the link to this in the chat box. So download this to your phone, and this can be very helpful. Uh, we do have the plant diagnostic clinic. Weed samples can be sent to them for identification, or you can contact your local MU Extension office. Send us pictures, bring in samples. Several of our MU Extension offices also have Master Gardener hotlines, and they're available to help with identification as well.